Good morning, guys. What is up? This is your boy Shadows RC, and today I had a DM last night asking about um, Salvus Mud Bosses and how somebody could be could put one together and be decently competitive. So I said I'd make a video because he said he found me through my YouTube, which is awesome. I've never had that happen. So make a quick video here. I'm gonna make it off the 12T and 13.5 because they are a little different. So first thing is the Titan 12T, it's got to be 100% stock. I'm running RPM Nerf Bars. Um, I'll link the rules to, to all the classes in the description. But like I said, I am running these because my track don't really care. So, But you're going to keep your Slash 100% stock. The only upgrade you guys can have is an RPM rear bumper. It's like that on 13.5. Um, and 12T, you can have the RPM bumper. Got to be a stock Titan 12T with a stock XL5 ESC, no other upgrades. Any remote you want is fine. Um, what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to lower your shocks. How you're going to go about that is just taking them off the car, um, taking the shock cap off along with the spring and the retainer down here, and then unscrewing the rod end. You're going to push the piston up and out of the shock. And you're going to cut some fuel line to put on it. We use, i um, not sure, but we use this stuff. You guys can use any fuel line that's like decent sized and fits around it. Or um, plastic spacers, nylon, whatever you want. And next you guys are going to want to remove your body mounts here. And you're gonna, what you're going to want to do is run a longer screw through the chassis, through the Nerf bar. And you're going to screw it on there. So you should have two here, two there. Perfect. Um, tires, you guys can run stock Traxxas, um, BF Goodrich, the spec tires, or I don't think we have them laying around, but um, Kumo tires so, for the 12 Ts. Um, you can run one Savox servo. I'm not completely sure. I'll put it in the description along with the name or in the description along with the rules. So. And uh, for connector, you guys can run Dean's or Traxxas plugs. And the highest battery you can run is a 2S 5200 milliamp. That's for both big block and small block. Well, Sportsman 12T. But I run 6200, not really a big deal. Um, we're gonna get more 5200, so. And yeah, that's basically it for these. These are the bodies. It's a Salvis Mud Boss body. They come clear, disassembled. All you do is you got two screws here for the frame. You put it on the roof here. All there are screws and nuts, as you guys can see. And then you bolt the side on, and then this part's tricky. If anyone has a problem with it, you guys can DM me. I'll send you some pictures. Um, they do break after a while. And the nose. So what you guys can do is you guys can get this Salvus Mud Boss body off eBay, um, clear. You can either paint it on the inside, of course, or you guys can buy a wrap also on eBay. Or if you have like a sign and graphic shop around you, you guys can contact them and they can do it. I had mine done at a guy we know a few towns over. But the other one, the 13.5 I had done at an actual shop, which was... DE Designs, Signs and Graphics. And that's because I had a picture of a sprint car that I wanted to be uh, modified on a modified body. So you guys didn't see it already. This is my um, thing. They killed it. They clear coated the roof. So I'm on my roof. I won't get scratched. It's completely textured. Like if I run my finger, you guys can hear that. It's pretty cool. So. Yeah, but next class would be big block. Don't mind that it's messing the wheel. It's got to get a new drive shaft. It keeps popping up. But for the LCG, it's the same thing. Um, completely stock. RPM bumper is legal. You can run Proline Hoosiers. Uh, my track, you can run a few more options. But it's pretty universal around. Hoosiers are where are what you can run in the 13.5. It's got to be a 13.5 Roar approved. 
um, sensored motor. The sensor's not in mine. I should really plug that in before I wonder what's wrong with my car. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm running a Tekken Redline Gen 3 13.5 along with a Reedy Black Box 600Z. And, yeah, so body mounts, you're going to do the same thing, except this time you're going to have to drill a hole through the Nerf bars if you want them on the LCG because you guys can see it doesn't have a hole which is really annoying <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to just have to um I'd screw on this side and then carefully hold it up put some up pressure on it but make sure it's flush and then just drill through the chassis through there run a long screw up and you're going to run some dirt tracks um posts I'm not sure how long these are. I can take a measurement. I'm told you need like four, four and a half. I think these are four, but we'll see four inches that is. So. Um, yeah, they're about four. So you guys are going to need four and a half, four to four and a half inch body posts. For the LCGs, you guys can run the upside down two wheel drive, stock, rustler, rustler, stampede, bandit, ups, bumper, upside down. Take the body posts off, get rid of them. You don't need them. Same thing, lower the shocks, and yeah. But that's basically it. You guys can run 2S, 5200, 8 battery, and then the Salvis Mud Boss body, same idea. So yeah. Thank you guys for all for watching this video. Thank you to the nice kid who wanted, who requested this video. I really appreciate that. It gives me ideas for content. I'll start making more content for you guys about these things. We're going to open practice tonight. I got to buy some stuff, but it's not for this. There's something down there. Gotta get the brown end back together. Uh, but yeah, this is end this video here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.